There's never a bad time for a burger. It's always a good time for a burger. However, have you ever thought about elevating your burger into the stratosphere? Oh. Wrong show. Go watch CJ's show for all that nonsense. Fun. Shenanigans. Enjoy. Fun. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a fantastic elevated Juicy Lucy, but we have some creamy brie, some peppery arugula, and some thinly shaved, slightly pickled red onions. They're gonna be fantastic. Let me show you guys how I like to do it. I wanna get started with my bacon first because we do need the fat and we need that crispiness. I'm using the thick cut Wright's bacon, which I, I'm making a point to say that, but we always use that, don't we, CJ? We've never used any other kind of bacon. I know, right? Why? Why use thin bacon? Actually, there there's, is a purpose. There's a purpose for if it. If I'm gonna do something bacon wrapped, I definitely want thin bacon. It gives us a more even texture. Um, but if I'm using it like for a burger, oh, that was two pieces. If I'm using it for a burger, uh, I definitely want thick thick cut bacon. So four, four pieces should be good. All right, let's let that cook and render out. Um, again, we want the fat and we want crispy, crispy bacon. Now let's talk about our red onion. Now for this, I wanna do a quick pickle. Now the trick to doing a quick pickle is surface area. So I'm using a mandolin to slice these extremely thin, almost paper thin, because we only have like five, 10 minutes or so to get a nice decent uh, bit of penetration from the vinegar. The vinegar I'm using is sherry vinegar. It's rich, it's, it has a bit of sweetness to it, not as sweet as balsamic, uh, but it definitely has a sweetness. Uh, a bit of salt and pepper and some olive oil. We're gonna let that sit for the entirety of the cook. If you wanna do this part the day before, that totally works. Uh, it'll just be more bold, vinegar, bright, pickled, fla pickled. Yeah. pickled flavor. Pickled flavor. Yeah. When the bacon is all done, be sure to flip it multiple times. I'm a multi-flipper bacon kind of guy. Well, you learned that from me. I've learned lots from what I've taught you. I, wait, no. If you get it, let me know in the comments. No, don't do it. <laughs> Uh, so we just want crispy, crispy bacon. Uh, throw down some paper towel, let it drain on the side uh, and let it cool. Now let's talk about our beef. I've got 80, 20 ground beef. Now a Juicy Lucy is interesting because we're actually making two patties. Let's say two to three ounces per side. Uh, let me just show you how to do it. Kind of make a loosely packed meatball. Let's go on our plate. We're gonna flatten it out a good bit. Now this might stick, but that's okay. That's okay. You know what, I think I need a touch more. I mean, a Juicy Lucy, it's not tiny. This is not a smash burger. Well, it kind of starts to feel like it. it's like two smash burgers stacked and stuffed. Yeah, because you are stacked in and fact stuffed. smashing. Yeah, stacked and stuffed. I'm using that. Okay. All right, you don't have to go as flat as we're all, we're not going to go all the way flat for right now. So that's what we're going to start with. Uh, let's go ahead and take a bit of our brie. Brie is incredibly creamy, super, super creamy. It's a fantastic cheese. It's gonna go perfect in our elevated Juicy Lucy. Do I need a, a better name then? No, dude. Is that good? Do you like brie, CJ? Um, yes. <laughs> if you've <laughs> never had brie, like CJ. I have had brie. Okay, I so that was it. I, I, I like it. It's not my favorite cheese, but uh -huh. I, I do not like blue cheese. Okay. Okay, it's okay. not blue cheese, it's not blue cheese. Exactly. I'm going with some of our essential blend. You definitely wanna season the inside of this so that cheese gets a little love. Uh, brie is, it's, depending on if it's a double or a triple cream, you're talking serious, creamy, funky, beautiful, wonderful flavors. Uh, so it's not cheddar, it's not American. Brie is very distinct and you'll, your palate will love you the for it. The fact that you use the word funky in it is usually the issue I have with it. It has a slight bit of funk, but that's okay. All right, now our second patty, I'm flattening it out over the top of our cheese. Be kind of, like here's where you can start pressing out to the shape that you want a little bit more for a Juicy Lucy. We just wanna make sure everything stays on the inside. So we're gonna crimp all around the edges. Don't worry about the shape just yet. Just pinch that seam, just like that. So we keep all that beautiful cheese on the inside. Now we can start shaping. Right, now is where we can lift it up a little bit. You can flip it over, make sure we're getting our burger shape the way we want it. I feel good about this. Look at that. It's like you'd be at a restaurant, CJ. I'm now we, feeling pretty good about <laughs> that. Good, good, good. So far, so good? So far. Okay, so, so good. here we want to, uh, I can be done with these guys. Uh, we want to season the outside a bit too. So let's grab our essential blend. Let's go over the top. Now we have a decent amount of beef, so don't be shy. Uh, we have our bacon fat. 
I think we're, we're ready to cruise. Oh, one other thing to mention, depending on your bun, you wanna go about 20% bigger than your bun. So as it, uh, con I was gonna say constricts. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Animal Planet with my kids. They're asking uh, about what yeah. constrictors are. It said Python on the brain. Oh, uh, constricting. Yeah. Contracts, as the beef contracts, as it cooks, it's gonna shrink a little bit. So we want to make sure we're about 20% bigger than our bun. All right, here we go. Right down into that glorious bacon fat. Oh yeah, let's make sure to get a bit of seasoning on the other side too. Yeah, this is a decent burger. This is not a smash burger. There's, there's some heft, there's some weight, right? All right, while that is cruising, let's talk about our sauce. It's a very, very simple sauce. We're gonna start with some Duke's mayo. Actually, I was watching one of Matt Hussey's videos the other day. That dude swears by Duke's, along with a lot of people. Betty swears by Duke's. I'm. I've said this before, I'm not a fan of mayo by itself. Nah, dude. I always like to add other stuff to it. Yeah, dude. So in this situation, we're gonna add a bit of lemon juice. I'm just gonna cut the end, I don't need the whole thing. Yeah, no seeds, when you cut the end off, you don't get any seeds. So lemon juice, uh, as a seed fell. See, mm. what do I know? What do I know? Let me get rid of that little seed here. There we go, happy little, happy little accident. I haven't gotten a good Bob Ross comment in a while. It's because we decided to stop going so Ross. Not going so Ross? Not going so Ross. <laughs> I've got mayo, I've got lemon juice, I've got pepper, and I've got garlic powder. Now I don't want to use fresh garlic here. The texture would be odd in a sauce. We're just trying to elevate that mayo just a little bit so it's a little bit nicer. All right, I feel good about that. The lemon juice is gonna give us some acidity along with the pickles, which is what you really, really want with a big savory burger. Oh yeah. Pickles or That's money. pickled onions? Onion pickles. That's it. All right, let's take a peek over here. Now we don't wanna rush this, but we do want that good Maillard reaction. Oh, and I'm feeling good. Let's go ahead and give her a flip and let that keep cruising. Now you don't wanna rush this, all right? You want to let that cheese on the inside melt. So th this isn't a rare burger. If you're a fan, of medium rare or rare ground beef. I'm not, I'm a medium well guy on ground Definitely. beef. You know why? Uh, you know why. It's good. <laughs> well, most people consider it over, I would never have a well done steak, but I'm fine with a well done burger. Definitely. Because most of the time, any bacteria or anything you have on a steak is on the surface only, so when you sear it, you can go rare because it's all cooked off and you're, I was gonna say sterile, but that's a horrible word to use it's for a steak. That word. But you know what I mean. Well, it's like using funk in reference to cheese. That one works. But when you grind beef, when you when it's all ground up, all of that surface area gets ground into the middle, therefore, exo facto. Just weird. Uh, all we have left is to toast the buns, slice the tomatoes, and build our burger. Let's do it, bro. That's it. I'm gonna start with my sauce on this bottom bun. And this is a big burger. Don't be afraid to be generous. That's quite with the generous sauce. with the sauce, dude. Ow, oh, it's not that crazy, is it? It looks a little crazy. A little crazy. <laughs> Let's grab a little bit of our bacon, and we'll go down, what do you think? Two, three. Three! Yeah, That's, that, that one's pieces, oh, dang it. Mm. Thanks, bro. Don't you know that we're best friends? Okay, arugula. Now, if you've never had arugula, it's peppery and wonderful. It's almost in line with a savory green. Way more body and texture than, say, like a plain iceberg or romaine, although that would work. My spatula, here we go. Let's grab, ah, oh, pollen, the tree. It's attacking me. Bring that gorgeous burger, look at this. Come on. That thing is girthy. Notice the shape too, that 20% rule. It's a good rule to follow if you want that Instagram worthy action. Um, onions, a little bit, no, tomatoes. We'll go with tomatoes, getting off of clamps. A little bit of fresh tomato. And then look at these, buddy. Ethan, can you see that if you get in really close? Look at this. The textures change a little bit. They've gotten very loose, slightly pickled. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna go right on top. It's gonna kind of drape down some of that liquid, that Dang, that's vinegar. A lot, that's a lot of onions too. Oh, but they're really, really thin. Trust me, trust me, it's gonna be good. Right. I'm gonna go a little bit more sauce on this top bun and we are, we're finished. We're done. This is a, uh, it's a beast. Huh, big burger? Yeah. Could you house that whole burger, CJ? Not dude. No. Look at that. Can I go Todd Tovin? I'm going full Tovin. We'll go Take Tobin. a look at that. Now all that's left to do is let's cut it open and let's see 
Let's see the true majesty of a Juicy Lucy. Oh yeah, buddy. You see, see what happens? So that cheese is now in the center. So we get this action. Yeah, boy. Come on. That's the magic of the Juicy Lucy. Let's get into this mother. Oh, wow. All my onions went to one side. I'm gonna go burger and cheese first. This is a messy burger, by the way. You might need a bib. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Dude, you know the only, good. Thing, only thing that could have made this burger better? Fritos? Uh, maybe, but no. Uh, is Whoa. if you uh, would have been courteous to consider the other two people on set and, you know, didn't just make a burger. Here you go. It's for you, buddy. It's better. Oh, that is juicy. That is a juicy Lucy. I gotta take in the bite. I was gonna end the video, but this is one of those ones. I'm gonna get that cheese bite, that center bite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I got all the cheese, the sauce, the bacon, the arugula, nice peppery little bite. That mayo upgrade, a little bit of garlic, pepper, what else do we add? Uh, lemon, juice. lemon juice. Just a little bit. Takes it up a new level. Whoa, that's all I got. Thank you all so much for watching. I love recipes like this. They're just fun. You guys know what you want, right? You don't want a burger, but we can elevate it. The sauce was simple, but elevated. You know, adding brie instead of cheddar or American. Little tiny tips and tricks. Tri I almost said trips and tips. That too. Both of those, all of them, all those things. Be sure if you're on YouTube to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get an email every time we post a new video. Uh, plus there's tons of fun content uh, on, on the page and on the channel. I got, I'm, I'm verklempt. I see. It's just, it's all, it's all happening. This is Cook, Eat, Repeat. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy, and I'm gonna devour this whole burger. Well, except for the half I'm sharing. Right. Maybe. See you guys next time.